Hey guys, it's Mary here with another video. This time we are not doing anything fish related. Instead, I am going to show you how to set up a small scale mealworm farm. Um, this one will be supporting myself and my rats and um, a few of my family members and their critters. So I went to the local pet store and I picked up a hundred mealworms and they're gonna be really nice tasty treats. So first what I'm doing is taking some large flake oats and I'm going to pour them into a large bucket so I can mix them with a couple of other things. So we'll pour that in first and then next I will be taking equal parts steel cut oats and dumping those in as well and I will give it a little mix. Um, these things are fairly inexpensive. I can't recall exactly how much I spent for everything to get this set up, but I would say it was probably under $25. So we'll give it a quick stir. The next thing that you will see me grabbing is some Cheerios. It's not a full bag at all. It's actually, I measured it out in the steel cut um, container. And I crushed them all up into a fine powder and I will stir those into my oats. Stir, stir, stir. So now I'm going to take this uh, mixture and pour it into three tiers of this little plastic shelf that I picked up at Canadian Tire for $25. If you don't have a Canadian Tire, they sell them at places like Walmart and Target as well. So I'm just taking equal parts and I'm aiming to do about two inches in the bottom of each container so that the millworms have space to burrow and move around. So now I've separated all of my mealworms from the substrate that they were in so that there's no poop or um, dead bodies or anything. So I'm putting the larvae on the bottom tier. The middle tier I plan on moving the, the pupae and then the top layer I'll be putting my beetles in so that they can breed. To feed your mealworms and beetles, you'll want to use a nice moist fruit or vegetable like apples, carrots, potatoes to provide hydration and nutrition so that your mealworms will move up through the stages of their life. So you'll want to spread that evenly and then make sure that you are changing it out daily so that it remains fresh and um, continues to provide a good source of nutrition. You may not need as much as this, but I just want to make sure that I'm covering my bases. So I did move this container down to my basement and this clip just shows me adding a egg carton to the substrate where my mealworms are and I have added one to every tier to provide hides because they do like darkness. So hopefully if you guys try this, it works out for you. I will be filming an update in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching as always and happy pet keeping.